I keep seeing various comments on the companies that I cover here about, you know, the companies appearing on certain YouTube channels. Um, and if it if a company does appear on a YouTube channel, whether it's mine or somebody else's, it's, it, it's a pump. It's always pumping. Uh, people, for example, on Aduro, on numerous occasions, they complained. They complained how uh, you can see Aduro on various YouTube channels. And I, I'm just like shaking my head when I hear this. Because if you think that, you're just clueless. You, you are so clueless that I am, I'm ashamed that you are a partner with me in some of these companies. Meaning you are a shareholder, so you are my partner. I'm embarrassed because, you see, think of this. Think of you going shopping for shoes, for clothes, for bags, whatever. There's two worlds. Nice shopping centers. There are clean, located at nice neighborhoods, located in nice neighborhoods, on busy roads, and you have shops that are located in the ghetto where every other retail location is boarded up. You're afraid you're going to get shot. You have drug dealers on the corner, prostitutes walking, and you have a shop. So Canadian Stock Exchange and TSX Venture is like a ghetto. And New York Stock Exchange and NASDAQ, it's a nice looking shopping mall or a shopping center. Okay? So are you going to go, if you live in a decent area, are you going to go and shop in a ghetto? Even if you can get a better price. No, you're not going to. Somebody has to drag you down there to make you go shopping there. Probably somebody has to take you with two bodyguards. And then when you get there to a ghetto shop and you look at, you know, a nice branded bag or shoes, what are you going to do first? You're going to ask yourself, is this counterfeited? Is this even for real? You're not asking yourself this question when you're shopping at a brand new shopping mall, whether whether the, 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 the thing is counterfeited, right? But that's the life and reality that these micro cap companies face. They are trading on a ghetto exchange, okay? Which means that they have to do extra to get attention, your attention. And they have to do extra to convince you that what they have is for real. And it's not counterfeited. How many times did you hear, oh, Aduro's uh, technology can't be real because if it was real, the company would already be, you know, a billion dollar company. It's trading on a ghetto exchange. So they have to do things to get your attention, to get the exposure. Now, after they move to a better shopping mall, they're still going to have to do marketing. They still are going to have to expose themselves, tell the story, but they are not going to have to do as much because there is foot traffic. The, 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 the retail next door, it's not boarded up. There's no prostitute on the corner. There's nobody dealing drugs. People are, are not afraid to go into that store, but they still have to do some promotion, but they can do less of it, right? So that's the difference. Until they get to the out of the ghetto, they have to do more, okay? Otherwise, if they don't do it, you know what happens? If they don't do this, inv they don't have liquidity, investors don't want to buy the stock, investors don't believe in it, and when those companies, which most of them are, unprofitable, they have to go back to the market for what? for capital raises, right? And there is no liquidity. 
So then they have to dilute you and me at lower prices. I don't have to point out some of the companies that don't want to promote because it's 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 a it's a negative word. They don't want to do they don't want to be seen as a promotional. So then what do they do? They dilute you at rock bottom prices. That's a fucking stupidity, okay? But that's what they do. They are in a ghetto neighborhood. They refuse to go and say, you know, work to bring people in. They they think they're like, oh, it doesn't matter we're in a ghetto store, but we're selling branded branded clothing. People should just find us. Really? That's how dumb you are? So that's what happens. Like, and when you as a shareholder, if you're dumb enough, if you're dumb enough to complain about the companies in the ghetto doing everything they can to to you know the work to bring in investors to bring in the interest if you complain about this you don't deserve to own them just go to the good shopping mall get yourself starbucks and just stay there because you have no idea that two kinds of worlds that these companies live in ghetto canadian stock exchange and tsx venture nice shopping malls NASDAQ, New York Stock Exchange, completely two different worlds. And you better understand the difference. Otherwise, it's easy to be a, it's easy to have an opinion behind the keyboard. Very easy. It's much harder to run a store in a ghetto and bring in clients and customers.